Hi, welcome back to another video for Carnivore Fit Mom. I am out on a walk with my little one. She's nursing and sleeping. Um, I just wanted to show you, this is where I try to get my walks in. This is where we live up here. We live on a 3,500 acre ranch, uh, beef cattle, and none of the cows are out right now. I wanted to show you some of the cows um, that are living here fat and happy because some of them go to McDonald's, some of them go to Whole Foods, and I wanted to show you the horrible living conditions that they have. Can't you see that they they are just having it really rough out here? Um, but we just live on this um, acre over here and um, we have a little farmhouse and some barns and stuff but my husband manages the property. So I just wanted to show you that, but also I just wanted to express a little gratitude today for my little carnivore baby. She's almost six months old. And I was just walking and I was thinking how grateful I am that she is so chunky and she's so healthy. We are not doctor people. We don't go to the doctor. She was born at home with a midwife and so she's never been to an actual doctor, the midwife. Uh, of course, you know, kept an eye on her for the first, you know, six, eight weeks, but um, she's never had any medical care at all. If you get my drift on um, what I'm trying not to say because I don't want to get my channel banned, but we don't do any kind of medical interventions at all. So she's just, she's just so happy and she's just so healthy. And I know a thousand percent it has to do with carnivore. Now, I was not carnivore with my first child in uh, 2013. I was on the SAD, and um, he, but he is also very healthy as well because he also did not have any kind of medical interventions. He was born in a hospital. I had a very traumatic hospital birth, which is why I chose a midwife and to birth at home with her. Um, and I didn't have another child for seven years because I said I never would have another child. But I was just so healthy on carnivore and feeling so great and eliminated those seizures and all the physical ailments and stuff that I have that even at, you know, I'm 38 years old. And I just am so grateful that I have this little baby and she's just, um, she's amazing and she's just, she started eating now I just started to feed her some food, some carnivore keto foods um, because I thought it was a little early. I don't think I fed my first one until he was like eight months or something. I just let him nurse for a long time. and But she was just showing so many signs of being ready. She was grabbing food off of our plates and she would make these little chewing things with her mouth while we were eating and it just kind of got a little sad so I decided she you know to listen to her and what the signals that she was giving and that she was hungry so um, I started her with some farm fresh eggs so she's been eating a little bit of egg I've been using the pasture raised eggs I'm really picky about eggs we have chickens here but they're not laying right now so my husband was able to get a hold of someone else whose chickens are laying so she's been eating the farm fresh chicken eggs. I tried some avocado. She was not a fan of avocado. Now she had some the other night. We were at a Mexican restaurant and I had them bring me just a little side of avocado and she did eat some of it then. But then when I made her one that I had gotten at the health food store, I don't know if it was just didn't taste good avocado. I didn't taste it because I don't eat, you know, stuff like that. But I had my husband taste it and he said it tasted fine. So I don't know, but she just was not digging it. So I made her another egg, but um, she also, I've been eating ground beef and scrambled eggs every single day for weeks now. And so I tried giving her some of the scrambled eggs that had just a tiny little pieces of the, the grass fed local ground beef that we eat. And she, she loves it. She loves the taste of that better than just the egg alone. So I've been, just been trying to make me a big portion and then just give her um, a lot of the egg out of it. She's a, a healthy little eater too. She, I'm surprised by how much she eats and then she nurses. And I guess that's why her so chunky. 
but she's just the sweetest little thing and uh so anyway i just wanted to give you that um you know about my little carnivore baby update i don't know how much she weighs i'm gonna weigh her and see um and i guess that's all i have so again i hope um i hope all of you are having a wonderful day and um get you a walk if you can it's so good for your mind and your emotions and everything especially when you're postpartum and your emotions can get a little cray cray so it just really helps me to um you know just kind of feel refreshed and rejuvenated even when i'm so tired even though she's been sleeping really good lately actually so and she's getting a good little nap right here so just uh, showing some gratitude today and i hope that all of you can be grateful for some things in your life and um, I'll talk to you later.